Hey friends, welcome back for another video. If you're new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Ashley and I am a homeschooling mom of four. Before I get started with today's video, I just wanna quickly let you guys know that there is still construction going on right outside my window here. And so if you hear any banging or background noise, that's what it is please let them finish the construction soon. It is so loud and they start every day at 6.45 in the morning. So anyways, today we're gonna be talking about the good and the beautiful science. I did a video that I titled, what sets it apart and I was talking about the good and the beautiful language arts because that is probably one of the top five things I get asked the most is how does the good and the beautiful compare to this curriculum? How does it compare to that curriculum? And so I figured that a video where I just share kind of like the five things that I personally have found um, that set it apart might be helpful to you guys. And I got a lot of really good feedback on that video and so many of you requested that I do it for science as well. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. I'm going to give you my personal opinion on the top five things I think that set the good and the beautiful science units apart from any other homeschooling science curriculum that I have personally tried and also researched because Prior to finding the good and the beautiful, I spent a lot of time researching curriculums trying to find a good fit. So again, this is just my opinion. Let me know if you guys agree with me if you've used um, some of their science units, but we're gonna just jump right in. So the first thing that I think sets it apart, and I do have notes uh, down below, is that it is not a textbook. The units are put together beautifully for you to use as you teach your children and um, create mini books, pulling pages out of them, little games and different things, but it's not a textbook. And so it doesn't come off as textbook science learning, which in my opinion can be kind of dry and pretty boring. Um, and my kids would agree. So that is the number one thing I think that's amazing about it is that it's not a textbook, but the information in each of the science units is so incredible that it it could be taken from a textbook, but they've packaged it beautifully and presented it in a way that isn't just turning a page in a textbook and reading dry informational facts off of a page. The second thing that I think sets it apart is that they are done in unit studies, meaning you're not gonna study the, I brought up a few of them. So this is energy and right here it says unit study on all of them. We have meteorology as well. We have energy and we have chemistry. So unit studies are meant to be used as a unit, meaning you're not gonna be studying the same science subject all year round, which I previously had done that where we were um, studying one science topic for an entire year. And by the end of the year, myself included, we were all getting very bored, very tired of it and not wanting to do it. And that is what led me to search out something else. In fact, fun fact, um, prior to my working relationship with The Good and the Beautiful, I the first thing that I purchased and tried um, was a science unit. So the science units being unit studies are wonderful because you can really just, you know, interest your kids in so many different things. You know, you there might be a unit that you really like and you stretch it out longer, or there might be one that you might not totally love, but you know, you know, you only have 13 or so lessons in a unit study, and so you're not gonna have to study it for the rest of the year. But my kids love science, and so the fact that they can study multiple different topics um, is really fun and exciting for them, and I think definitely sets the good and the beautiful apart from other curriculums. The third thing that is incredible about the good and the beautiful science compared to other homeschooling curriculums is that, once again, it covers a vast range of grade levels 
and I can use my science curriculum to teach my upcoming second grader all the way up to my seventh grader um, because there are lesson extensions placed in the units for older children. And if you do them with your older kids, I guarantee you will be learning things too. My kids definitely learn way more uh, about science than I ever did. And I'm telling you, the lesson extensions are great. So if you're worried about it not being hard enough for an older child, put those lesson extensions at the end of their lesson and I guarantee you they are gonna be learning a ton. I love being able to teach subjects family style in my homeschool. It creates a more enjoyable, peaceful, uh, less overwhelming, homeschool day for myself as well as my kids and everyone is happier that way. So it's a huge, huge bonus in my opinion. The fourth thing that I think really sets the good and the beautiful science units apart from other homeschooling curriculums is the fact that you can do more if you want to, meaning you can check out more books, you can do more experiments, you can add in your field trips, you can, um, dive into those lesson extensions and really dig deep into the information. You can do more or you can do less. So just because there's an activity on a page doesn't mean that you have to do it if it's just not gonna work out for you or you're not feeling up to it. Some other curriculums that I have tried in the past were either extremely overwhelming to the point of where I'm just like, no, that is way, way too much for me or it was way too little and I was having to basically create my own curriculum because I needed to beef it up so much. So I feel like The Good and the Beautiful is kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's just right, it's just right in the middle. If you're someone that loves science and wants to dig in deeper to it, like we're going to with marine biology, that's our first unit this uh, school year, you can add in. I'm going to add in a dissection. Um, and so we're going to be doing that. We're going to be doing um, some studying ahead of our unit while we're on vacation near the beach. And so you can totally add in more things or you can just do it as it says, which is going to be more than enough. Or you can subtract things if you're teaching younger kids or you aren't feeling up to it or whatever the case may be. It's the perfect balance. And the last thing that I think sets the good and the beautiful science units apart from any other homeschooling curriculum that I have tried is that it contains lots of hands-on uh, learning. So it's not just I'm mom reading facts, children memorizing facts. There are games, there are puzzles, there are mini books, there are watch uh, recommended videos to watch, there are experiments, there are demonstrations. It really covers so many different learning styles. So if you've got a kiddo that loves to hands-on learn, then this curriculum is gonna be wonderful, you, wonderful for you for the science realm of your homeschool. Um, and if you've got you know a more auditory learner, then they're gonna really enjoy this as well. So I love the fact that it has the hands-on experiments laid into the curriculum for me because then I'm not left to search Pinterest for five hours trying to figure out how to create layers of the ocean <laughs> when they just have it all nicely mapped out for me. It just makes my life as a homeschooling mom so much easier and so much more joyful and we can focus on learning the information and not me trying to figure th all these things out on my own. I truly appreciate uh, that part about the curriculum. So I hope this helps you guys. I do not like to throw any other curriculum companies under the bus. So I've tried a lot of science, a lot. Um, you know, five major companies that I can think of right off the top of my head. And The Good and the Beautiful is the winner for us time and time again. So if you're considering it, I highly recommend that you uh, check them out. This was not on my top five things list for this video, but the price again is incredible and unmatched. So if you're on the fence, I highly encourage you to order it, try it out for yourself, 
you will not regret it. And, um, and you know, the cost is not extremely significant to where if you didn't enjoy it for some reason that you would be, you know, super upset about it. So anyways, we have done about five units from the good and the beautiful. And every single time I find that all the things that I just shared with you ring true. So that is going to be it for this video. I just wanted to make another one of these because you guys wanted me to. Let me know if you have any other The Good and the Beautiful related videos that you want to see here on my channel. I am getting ready to start our next homeschool year here pretty soon. And so all of the videos that you guys love where I show us doing a lesson live time, um, a few of those will be coming once we get back into our homeschool year. So be sure you're subscribed, check it out. YouTube's been being weird. Make sure you've clicked the bell so you get notified when I upload. Please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.